guys, Dave here with a new guitar solo for you to try out. Um, I've been posting a few Alan Murphy guitar solos recently and as a result of that someone has requested this one. Um, this is actually level 42 this time and the song is Heaven in My Hands um, and quite a short solo, it's not, yeah, not particularly long but it's got some great little kind of uh, licks and runs in it. Now it starts off um, with a, a tremolo bar raise. The way I do it, I don't know um, if he was using a different tremolo arm on the record where everything goes up equally, but on a typical tremolo setup, you'll find that if you pull the bar up, each string will go up a different amount. And what we're after is bow strings going up a tone. So to do this, what I do is I quickly slide down into the 5th fret on the G and D strings. So they've got this little double stop. Then I'm going to pull the bar up, but to compensate for the D string, I'm going to slightly bend it as I pull the bar up so that both of them come up a tone. Like that. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> um, I've seen Michael Lee Ferkins do something similar when he uses a tremolo arm. So um, yeah, that's the way around it if we um, if you've got a regular tremolo arm system. Okay, so he does that twice. Um, on the record you can hear some kind of tremolo arm dips, but I think that's an overdub, so I won't be too concerned about those. Okay, and then when he's into the regular solo, it starts like this. Right, so it's basically based upon D minor pentatonic for most of it. So that's um, 13th fret on the E with a bit of vibrato, then 10, then 13 on the B, then a, a tone bend on the, the 12th fret of the G, so bending it up two frets, then on the B string, 10 and 13, and then we do a one fret bend and release on the 12th fret of the E. Then he plays 10 on the E, then jumps over to 10 on the G. The way I kind of navigate that is I use the flat of my finger for the E, and then just roll it over to get the 10th fret on the G. Like that. Then we're going to do a double stop with a bend in it. So 13th fret on the B. 12 on the G, and I'm bending a 12th fret upper tone. I bend it up, give it a dip on the arm, and then add a little vibrato on the end, so you get a... Like that. Then we're going to do something similar, but it's going to start with a pull off from 12 to 10 on the G, then we do that double stop again with the bend, let it down, back up and then add a dip afterwards, so yeah, like so, and then just slide downwards. The next phrase, um, slide up to 14 on the G, then 15 on the B, and then pick the 14th fret on the G again twice. Add a little bit of a bright on the last one and then slide it down. Like that. This is a nice little run. Slide into 10 on the B, 
then a quarter tone bend on the 13th fret of the E, then 10, 13, then 13 again with a quarter tone, quarter tone bend, so you get like that. Then we're going to play 10 on the E, 10 on the B, and then you do a little pre bend release, just a quarter tone or maybe a half, maybe a one fret bend. On the 12th fret, already start with it bent and let it down. And it's very quick. Like that. So, um. Like that. Okay, then it does a slow bend. 13th fret on the B, upper tone. And then we're into the, con the run that he does at the end, which is really nice. It's uh, kind of a mix of minor pentatonic and there's a little bit of mix of Lydian thrown in there as well. So, yeah, nice little run. Typical Alan Murphy, got to say that. <laughs> Right, to play that, uh, I'll do this in fours, I think. So on the E, we play 10, 12, pulling off onto 10, then 13. Then he's going to pull off onto 10, then 12 on the G, and then pulling off 13 to 10 on the B. Actually, it makes sense if I do it in a two beat chunk there. Okay, right. So you get that. Next bit, um, pulling off from 12 to 10 on the G, 12 on the D, then 11 on the G. This is when it starts kind of moving from minor pentatonic into D major or D major pentatonic and a little bit of mixolydian as well. There we go. Next bit, nine on the G and then pulling off 12 to nine on the D, then 12 on the A. Like that, and that's D major pentatonic. The next bit's a bit more mixolydian. The next one is back to nine on the G. Then pulling off 10 to 9 on the D and then 12 on the A again. Then he plays 10, slides it down and then finishes off by playing 7 to 5 on the A. Then adding a little bit of a bright on the end. So I'll play that whole one really slowly. There you go, that's all the notes for the solo. Um, not much to add to that really, he's got his normal kind of guitar set up with the, uh, the old Super Champ. Um, on the record I think there's a fair bit of reverb on the guitar and a little bit of delay as well just to make the sound a little bit bigger because it's quite a big sounding track. Okay, alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I will see you for one real soon. See you later. <laughs>